group will give a brief analysis to QT House at dessert show. And this is our group members, Freya, Elaine, Flora, and Alicia. We have four parts. The first part is about the internal analysis, which will be given by me. And the second part is about the external analysis, including attractiveness and of the industry and their competitors. And the last part is about the business level strategy. Now let's have a look at the internal analysis first. There are many three keywords in this part, resources, capabilities, and core competencies. And as for resources, it can be divided into two aspects, tangible and intangible. When it comes to the tangible resources, it is obvious that QT House has the ability to generate internal funds since it has con continuous customers to make profit. And it has two physical uh, stores located in City and Chester respectively, which can be seen in the picture. And uh, the equipment they use for making desserts is also their tangible resources. And uh, QT House has easy access to raw materials, like matcha powder and daily products, which can be easily found in Australia. And stock of tech knowledge like uh, trademarks and copyright cannot be ignored in tangible resources. Then comes to the intangible resources, like ideas for innovating different types of desserts and good reputation with customers and suppliers. It can be seen from picture that QT House has got high score from customers of 4.7 and their reviews are all fantastic. Then comes to the capabilities. As an excellent dessert shop, QT House has uh, promoted their products effectively in a very short time and they provide satisfactory customer services. The most important thing is their innovative merchandising. They specialize in matcha powder, in matcha ice cream and tea, which is totally different from other normal dessert shops. And uh, uh, and uh, uh, so according to the above analysis, we can get their core competencies based on capabilities or uh, innovation. To be specific, innovation means they can innovate their uh, individual menus like the mix of matcha ice cream and cakes or the attractive appearance of the desserts. But as for core competency, it must meet four considerations valuable, real, inimitable, and non-substitutable. And I will go through these four elements quickly. Innovation can help QT House neutralize threats from rivals, so it is valuable. And not all dessert shops can uh, innovate their individual menus, so it is real and inimitable. And last, QT House is a unique individual. Its, in, its innovation style, can, uh, like variety of products and services, cannot be substituted easily. And the uh, next part is about the external analysis. I will analyze the external environment and I will focus on the industrial attractiveness. Well, first we need to identify which industry does QT House belong to. According to the Australian industry list, we think it should belong to the accommodation and food services. And to be more specific, it should belong to the catering services. And this is the definition of catering services. And uh, as we all know, Q the main business of QT House is uh, ice cream and tea. So we think it uh, belongs to the dessert, dessert industry. And uh, our analysis is based on this industry. Then I will use the Porter's Five Forces model to show the strengths and the weaknesses of this industry. Uh, I will start from the threats of new entrants. First, to start a dessert shop, the capital requirement is relatively low and uh, compared to some other industries such as the mining and manufacturing. But uh, meanwhile, the, as for QT House, the product differentiation is pretty high because it focuses on the matcha products. And also, uh, it is pretty famous in Melbourne and uh, it has a, high, a good reputation, so the customers have a high brand loyalty to it. So overall, the th level of threats of new entrants is medium. And the next is bargaining power of suppliers. 
Well, as for suppliers, there are so many buyers of these products that it is impossible for uh, each individual buyers to become a import become an important customer. So the uh, suppliers has a large bargaining power. And the next it comes to the intensity of rivalry among competitors. Well, the numbers of competitors is pretty large because there are so many uh, dessert shops in Melbourne. But meanwhile, uh, QT House has a high product differentiation. So uh, in general, the, this level is medium. And uh, next is the buyer's power. Well, the total number of buyers is large and each purchaser accounts for a small uh, proportion for the seller's sales. And also the product differentiation is high, so in general the, buyers, the bargaining power of buyer is low. And the last one is the rise of substitute products. The substitute products include coffee, milk tea, and, uh, juice, and so on. And these products had a similar um, price and uh, uh, quality. And also for the buyers, the switching cost is pretty low. So the, in general, the threat of new substitute products is medium. And based on the analysis, I draw this map to show uh, the attractiveness of this industry. And from this map, uh, I have a conclusion. In general, this industry is attractive, but also it has some uh, problems, such as uh, the barriers is too high. It, the barriers to entry are relatively low. The competition between peers is fierce, and also the suppliers are over powerful. And then we will have an analysis based on the competitors. In this part, I will focus on competitors to analyze the external environment. And yet we can see the key success factors including um, pricing, geographic reach, service, ser environment, and so on. But I think it's hard to compare the dessert industry in this area. So I finally, I choose quality and flavor brands of dessert range to draw the strategy group map. And then we can see the map here. Um, in terms of quality and flavor, and many refer to the Zomato ranking system. And as for grace of dessert range, I mainly uh, search for information from their respective menus. And we can see the dessert story in the yellow one. It ranks the least, which is almost 3.8, uh, but it, it offers the least range of desserts. And for QT House, it ranks the highest, which is almost 4.7, it, uh, but, it, but it offers a certain range of dessert types. And as for Tesura, it's the only uh, dessert shop which is very similar to QT House. Uh, besides, it offers extra uh, customized service and the customers can uh, choose whatever they want. And in terms of toppings and the juice makes the ice cream, so it has a wide range. But it ranks a little lower than QT House. And the last one, the dessert kitchen, which is in the gray one. Although it offers the largest type of desserts, which is over 100, but it, uh, low, uh, it ranks a little lower than the QT House and the T3. And then according to the map, we can do the competitor analysis, focus on future objectives, current strategy, and the capabilities. For Tesoro, it's in focus to serve fresh tea to customers worldwide, and its current strategy focus differentiation, which we are similar to QT House, will be analyzed in the next part. And uh, its strength is customized service and friendly joining policy but I think it should improve its quality. And for dessert kitchen, it aims to a light and good free dessert. And its differentiation strategy focus on high price and better service. And I think its healthy and wide range dessert is, uh, attract, attract customers to a large degree. And for the dessert story, 
It aims to bring the freshest and tastiest Asian dessert to customers. It focuses on local strategy and the low price. But I think it should improve its uh, service and indoor seating environment. And the last one, Beauty House. It focuses to uh, keep traditional manufacturing process and uh, uh, it is one of its advantages. And the other one is its high quality and excellent flavor. But I think they should improve their dessert range and uh, provide extra customized service. And then in the next part, we will analyze business level strategy. Now, after having a look at the external and internal environment, let's turn to business level strategy. As we all know, there are five main types of business level strategies. And what we are going to talk about today is the focused differentiation strategy. That's what we suppose QT House is now adopting. A focused differentiation strategy combines both differentiation strategy and niche market strategy. It takes the differentiation strategy one step further, and the focused differentiation strategy requires offering the unique features which fulfill the demands of a narrow market. That's what makes the QT House quite successful. Firstly, QT House is focusing on a niche market. It focuses on the dessert market, and uh, which is a small segment of the catering industry. Its main products are tea and ice creams. In other words, its target group of customers are those who have a preference for the sweet dessert. Narrowing down the scope of target customers, it only has to compete with those similar dessert sellers. That makes uh, that brings advantages to QT House. And besides, it also lay emphasis on the differentiation. It sets itself apart from other dessert sellers since its special matcha flavor is quite popular, especially among young people. With, it, with its price being in the middle range, it is the matcha flavor that makes it quite different. And besides, its material is quite good. Uh, as is briefly introduced on its website, QT House is different as its private brand originates from the hill of Kyoto, birthplace of Japanese tea. With its price in the middle range, it is a matcha flavor and the high quality material that sets it apart and capturing the heart of customers. With its reasonable price, accurate market positioning and the special matcha flavor, QT House has become a great success, and we never doubt that it is the best choice for sweet lovers, especially matcha lovers. This is the reference. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you.